questions for Patrick Vieira, please. And do identify yourself as well. Hi, Patrick. Marcus here from One Football. Uh, Killian Phillips stood out for me for Crystal Palace. Or what did you make of his performance tonight? He's um, a young prospect for a football club. Um, he came for the Irish League, and uh, he's a he's a kid who's working really hard. And uh, and today I believe that he had a, a solid performance. So I was. Uh, I was pleased with the way that he competed on the field, and um, he had a good game, yeah. <coughs> yep, go ahead. Oh. It's me again. <laughs> Can you explain uh, just how difficult it is to keep possession against this Liverpool team? I think it is not possible for us to have the possession and or to have it as much as we will want to because of the quality of, of the team. And uh, we tried and at time I think we managed to to do something interesting, but we struggled to get into the box on the couple of situations that we had, we didn't play them quite well enough. But again, this is the team that, you know, in the last five, six years, fighting to win the Champions League and the Premier League. So we knew how challenging that game was going to be. But I'm really pleased because that is the game that allowed us to make a step forward regarding the last game that we had. So we are progressing. We are getting better physically. Technically, we are still have things that to to work on, but I think we make a step forward today. Yeah, it's us. Hi, Patrick. Cezali from uh, The Straits Times in Singapore. Um, Liverpool found it uh, pretty early in, in each half. Uh, obviously, it's, it's not good to concede, but uh, were you happy with how your team sort of like responded to conceding and, and you know, sort of like Showed uh, some resolute uh, defending, uh, and and you know not not crumble further. We are never happy to concede goals when you play football matches, but in the other side, you just have to look at the quality of the Liverpool squad, and uh, when they're playing at time, we find it really difficult to defend. But we are not surprised at all. We knew how tough and challenging that game will be, and. And again, we have to look at in our side, and uh, and I was really pleased because physically he was really demanding. Tactically, we needed to be to be good, not to concede too many chances or too many goals. And overall, again, I think it's a step forward for us regarding where we want to be when the first game of the season will come. Patrick, how did your players find the conditions? Yeah, it was. Um, it was challenging, of course, but again, it's all about the experience, mm. you know, so um, you get tired, you get a little bit dizzy, but that allowed you to focus and concentrate a little bit more on the tactical side of the mm. game. And uh, when you lose a little bit of your concentration, you concede situation, you concede goals, and... Uh, and I think that kind of experience is quite positive for us. Yeah, up there. Hi, Patrick. Um, Irvin from Sport Plus here. So uh, today you only had one senior centre back in the squad, which was uh, Joachim Anderson, and uh, I believe Joel Ward uh, filled in as centre back. Um, obviously, Mark Gray and James Tompkins were left at home. So this is an area where Palace are uh, lacking in, I would say. Uh, there are rumours of Levy Cowell joining the club. Uh, how true are those rumours and are Palace looking to strengthen in central defence? Yep. I think it's not just about the central defence. What we want to do as a football club is to to improve and to find players that can take us to a different level. Um, regarding the rumours, I think we just need to be careful because this is a period where there is a lot of names coming out. But what is important for us is to identify 
the position where we need um, we need players and and try to to get those players. Okay, guys. Uh. Hi, Patrick. Um, Richard here from Bok Chomi Boy in Singapore. Can I just ask, can I just say that it's fantastic that you actually went to that corner after the game to applaud the Crystal Palace fans. How important is it to know you have this uh, fan base in Singapore and in Asia? Yeah, I think it's something quite new as well for us as a football club. And uh, to come here and to have a pre-season and to, to play against, I will say, one of the best teams in Europe. And um, it's always good because even if we are Crystal Palace, we still have support around the world. So it is uh, good for us to come around and to understand that the Premier League is well followed worldwide and and we have fans and it's really good to, to have our players spending time. We've been here for a couple of days and we went to different places, and uh, and that is interesting for for us as a football club. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you very much, Patrick. Thank, thank you. you.